like to rap about where my head's at, I guess, right now, and how I see things so I can look back and relate to it in the future. This is um, three months after I got out of high school now. Start out with an editorial that was in the guide. Uh, here's how it goes. When drinking water may be hazardous to your health, and eating may be hazardous to your health, and breathing may be hazardous to your health, and you find the old and the poor cannot afford to be sick, idiotic slogans won't solve the problem. Slogan, America, love it or leave it, which is a bumper sticker popular now. America, love it or leave it. A lot of people believe that way right now, I think, that America, right or wrong, follow it to the end. It's, I, I can't see it. It's like what happened in Germany if we say Germany right or wrong. Be very nationalistic about it. That's why all wars are started, I believe. It's because of nationalism and people grouping to Together and they think they're better than another person. But uh, well, that kind of leads me to the draft, I guess. The draft, I'm right now I'm planning not to register for it. That's, I feel like I'd be going along even if I just registered for the draft and I figured that if everybody felt like, that felt like I did, didn't register, I sure feel like the draft wouldn't last much longer. Ed Kennedy made a point the other day Senator Edward Kennedy, of um, <clears throat> poor kids would be fighting rich man's wars, which is could be true, could be a good point. I've worked out at the yoga center. I, I believe in kind of work that'll do people good. If I can't do that, I won't do any kind of work at all, I don't think. Um, by the way, I should say I'm a vegetarian, I guess. Plan to live on a commune, I guess. Right now, that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, maybe I should talk about what I plan to do so I can look back and see how things went. I plan to, I'd like to get it myself into a commune, permanent type thing. I mean, if it's with me and a couple more people or a hundred people, but I'd like to do this and get into that by the time I'm, say, 21 or something and have my whole you know, have some security in what I'm doing, and my whole mind set up on what direction my mind is going towards the time I'm 21. Well, I, I have an idea of what my goal is right now. I'm working towards that goal all the time, every day. I want to I be able to come back to a place to live, you know, like I'm going to wait for some dome books, I'm going to try to build myself a dome somewhere and live in a dome, which would be just, just beautiful, I think, you know, I, mean, I couldn't think of a better life, actually living in a dome, uh, making artifacts or making something myself that I know people will enjoy and I'll enjoy making them. Or I'll probably grow food and I, I don't know about getting married. I don't think so. I'd like to change some things while I'm still in the city. Like I've been writing the guide. I've written in some polls and just some real stupid things just to make my voice heard. Here's what I wrote to the guide. This is a very uh, conservative newspaper here in Fresno. Um, this is what I wrote to him. Dear sirs, I urge you to change the guide from being biased and one-sided to a useful functional newspaper by showing both sides of an issue. May I further suggest using authors from the so-called underground papers. They should be allowed to express their views in such a fair paper is the guide, shouldn't they? Question mark. Anyway, I think it might promote understanding and the guide would turn into the kind of newspaper all generations and most all types of people can read and relate to. I signed my name to it and I hope it shows up in the guide pretty soon. You know, maybe makes some people start thinking about it, I don't know. My yoga, I, I dig on doing yoga. I'm doing that right now. Not now, but uh, I was take, I've been taking classes. Mr. Shulman's left town now. I'll probably resume him when he comes back. I sleep on a yoga mat, which is really kind of neat. You read this quotation to you, or me, or whatever. Quotation to ponder. <clears throat> the streets of our country are in turmoil. The universities are filled with students rebelling and rioting. 
communists are seeking to destroy our country. Russia is threatening us with her might and the Republic is in danger. Yes, in danger from within and without. We need law and order. Yes, without law and order, our nation cannot survive. Elect us and we shall restore law and order. This was uh, said by Adolf Hitler in an electioneering speech in Hamburg, Germany, 1932. Um, this kind of reflects America in 1972. George Wallace, what he says, in, and uh, Ronald Reagan. I don't know, I might not even be able to stay in California if I don't turn to my draft card, which I'm, I'm not, I guess. Yeah, well, I, I'm not, let's put it that way, I'm not going to go down and register for the draft. That's all there is to that. I don't think I'll be caught for it, and if I am, I'm not going to spend any time. I'll split to Canada first, or someplace in South America. South America seems like a more logical solution. Maybe I'd like to make a little bit of money before this does happen, though, you know. It might be kind of neat to where I don't, I'm not starving when I go down there. And also when you take a drug or something, it changes your mind, which changes what you see, which changes kind of the rea reality of things. Like, oh, here's an example. Some guy was, Ralph Longo was telling me about a friend of his who took LSD and saw this big white dove next to him. Now, um, that dove in Ralph's reality wasn't there, but in that other person's mind it was. So it's um, kind of whatever you picture can come to pass. And whatever you put your energy for in your mind, you'll get more of it. Very definitely things are changing. Like people, People's minds are becoming changed, open their mind, because it, it really is a mind-expanding drug. I hope maybe I could look back on this in five, six years and see where I was right now and uh, understand why I am where I am now by this little talk. Okay, well, uh, here's what I've thought of, I guess, is that for the revolutionaries in the world that are rioting and trying to take over their governments. Oh, thank you. And I hope peace reigns on Earth by the time I hear this again. If anybody else hears it, um, I just hope the best for the world, you know? And I'll try to do my best to change it with all the peaceful ways I know how. Thank you. Goodbye.